who? And welcome to Two Watch Who, a Doctor Who podcast. I'm Mark. I'm Sarah. And I'm a Doctor Who fan. And I'm new to watching Who. Yes, you're watching for the very first time. And we're coming to you live from an unnamed Earth colony. Um, we're in the refreshing department right now. It's very relaxing. Yeah, I don't want a haircut like no. Polly's. Well, I was just about to say, you're just about to have a haircut. I wish. No, I to... <laughs> Lockdown's preventing that. What are you, have? are you in the um, rough and tumble machine? Sure. Yeah? That sounds I've just, uh, I've just had a massage with Ben and Jamie, <laughs> separately. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all very relaxed here. I've got my goggles on, <laughs> on the sun lamp. It's really nice here. Well, you're going to come, you're like a little lobster if you're under the sun lamp. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't got to that bit. We haven't got to the crabs yet. <laughs> even thinking that <laughs> um well yeah okay well i'm switching off the sun lamp to talk about <laughs> the macro terror so i've got a little bit of an update actually okay because you know we we're talking about your album <laughs> yeah. okay we missed off a song okay what song did we miss the most important song from keys of marinus one more day in morferton city oh, <laughs> one, yeah. day in one more day, day. <laughs> so i was like that is that is the best song so i was thinking about that right. and i was thinking right well actually I think we're going to have to scrap your album and do something else. Are we doing a musical? How about, right? <laughs> okay, I've put too much thought into this. Keys of Marinus, the musical. Yes, it's got Lo- everything. Loosely based on Wicked, <laughs> right? <laughs> so here we go. So we've got No One Mourns the Voice. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh my God. Arbitan is dead and gone. No one lays a lily. Yeah. Yeah, Okay, and then we've got popular. Barbara is popular. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. She was, I guess. With all the men. (laughs) Wow, okay. Okay. I'm not putting lyrics on Mark here. Right, and then we've got Once I'm with the Morphos, my life will change. (laughs) (laughs) Once I'm with the Morphos, my whole life will change. That's it, okay. (laughs) (laughs) And then, right, at the end of Act One, you know, with the um, the ice cave bit and those guards, and they have to go across the rope bridge, right? That can be a Susan and Sabitha scene, right? Right. And so it's like, Sabitha is unlimited. <laughs> and then, Susan's defying gravity. Why? <laughs> I can't, I can't why, sing. why is Susan defying gravity? What because happened? she's going across the rope bridge. Oh, right. <laughs> I just need your context. And um, I've, I've spent that far too much time Susan, on this. That is such a Susan thing to do as well, signifying yeah. gravity. <laughs> Altos, unadulterated Altos. <laughs> <laughs> For his keys are on, Marinus. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm trying to work out what song. That's popular again, is it? And what else do they have? I've got a few more. What's um, Couldn't Be Happier? Couldn't be happier. happier. Oh, that's... Um, that's um, Sweet, I couldn't be happier. Yeah. Da, da, look what we've got, a fairy tale boy. So that bit is, um, that's Cabin Guy getting Barbara. Vazor couldn't be happier. <laughs> that oh, is captured right. Barbara. <laughs> 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 so I think we should do Keys of Marin as a musical. Yeah. You can sing. I've got GCSE music. Right. <laughs> can you not do lyrics? <laughs> what? No, that's what I spent all day on. <laughs> Okay, can What's you not that? do music then? Why? Well, half the time I'm trying to work out what you're trying <laughs> yeah, to do. Yeah, I know, but I, I did this this afternoon and I forgot the tune. Okay. And I can't <laughs> sing. So with those two things, I can do the lyrics. How many characters do I have to be? Well, like... All, all of them. them. Oh, my <laughs> well, God. I don't know. Well, oh, I forgot. Um, oh, what was it, Ian? Oh, maybe the Ian and I, instead of Wizard. No, I don't know. Ian needs Ian to be in there. Ian and I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there we the go. The Doctor and I, maybe. The Doctor and I, maybe. Yeah. So, um, we watched. Mark, you have to say like. Okay. How well, you got okay. This. Well, no, I just saw there was a DVD of Wicked, right? <laughs> and well, there, actually, there's this website that I go to to get like bootleg copies of stuff that isn't available on DVD. So stuff that has not been released that I want to see. You know, like Treasure Hunt, game show Treasure Hunt. Yes. Love it, and I got it off 
some website and it's it was wicked and I was like oh that might be cool and maybe they filmed it in America and everything so I bought it <laughs> for like five pounds <laughs> and it's just someone someone's sat there rubbing the, their hands someone has sat in the theatre with a video camera <laughs> and filmed Wicked so there's like people's heads it's like the complete illegal copy of Wicked yeah um, but it starts off as once you settle into it you're like okay yeah like if it was done professionally, yeah. you'd have the mics part into the video system. So, whereas, like, you're yeah, literally... Yeah, this is literally someone with a camera, <laughs> zooming in and out. <laughs> Zoom in, yeah. So, zooming yeah. in and out. Well, no one's going to do an illegal copy of Keys of Marinus, the musical. So, there we go. So, they're my ideas for that. If, <laughs> like, <laughs> if some students can oh, redo an episode of Doctor Who, yeah, we, we can, can make a Keys of Keys Marinus. Marinus musical, yeah, with yeah. the Morphos. So, um, well, anyway, let's get back. So, um, Macra Terra, Macra Terra, here we are. So this is a missing story, and it's fully animated. So we've watched the animated version in black and white. We didn't do the colour version. No. And... Mark is a purist. Well, yeah, it would, it would be <laughs> weird if we just suddenly went to colour right now. I don't know. I think I, I can accept it more with the animation. I like it in black and white in the animation because it feels like part of the continuing of it being in black and white. But if it happened, it happened. You know, okay. If you accidentally put the wrong disc on... Yeah, I wouldn't like... Okay, right. Well, we, we've got new titles. Yeah. Which you weren't that bothered about when I was like, look, look, there's new titles. <laughs> it's just such a weird time for them to appear. It's a weird time for them to change. And we've never really talked about the titles. The only conversation I remember we've had about the titles when we first started, it yeah. was like... I don't know what we were watching. In the season one, you made the comment that it made it reminded you of a fanny, that line oh, at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only well, conversation I gave you a look and then we that was We have no it. reason to talk about the titles. So we, well, I know, yeah, but we never, even when we first like did Unearthly Child, you never were like, ooh, this is cool. You know, you never, you've never commented, apart from it looking like no, a fanny. But I line. don't think I've like... <laughs> <laughs> like opening up <laughs> sort of at the beginning, <laughs> which sort of just <laughs> traumatised everybody <laughs> with that image. <laughs> it's even worse now with his head there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's still a sort of an opening, isn't it? It really opens up. Oh my up. gosh, let's not even start this, please. Uh, you started. I, I, I didn't, didn't end up you saying did. rude stuff. Well, you it's did. happened quite often lately. <laughs> I just, you said the comment. <laughs> yeah, ages ago, you're the one that's brought it back up. <laughs> so, anyway, there's new titles with his face there. <laughs> Coming out of the it opens up. Yeah. Um, but we saw that it's the animated version, so it's a bit strange. I did show you the real version with Patrick Troughton's photo. Yeah, that's still weird. Anyway, it, well, you, you've got a bit of time to get used to it now because it's here for a I'll while. I'll tell you, it's not so much the face appearing that I find weird. It's just the font. I really, like, it's very Times New Roman. Well, it is, yeah, but if you think in, like, the 60s, it was probably, like, brand new. Oh, yeah, I know. It's just, that's it's a bit... It's not the that... best. I prefer the previous font yeah it's very yeah it just feels very old and rigid okay it felt like actually a knockoff it's like you know you're wicked yeah <laughs> yeah it felt, because video camera to like the titles <laughs> and stuck them in yeah it's almost like they've gone and this is doctor who but we don't have permission for the official so he do you, it felt like as weird as that it's all very it's just very odd time to sort of like ah we're gonna change the title um, have a fanny well, yes. to his face. Well, yes. <laughs> so um, I did explain to you at the beginning on the animation, I had to explain that Polly's got short hair and she's in a different outfit because of the animation cut out a, a scene later on where they all get where they get changed and Polly gets a haircut and stuff. So when we get to that bit. So I had to explain that to you first because it's supposed to carry on directly from the moon base where we saw the claw on the scanner. Mm. And Polly was like, oh, what's that? Why did they decide to chop her hair off? Well, no, but in the story, she has her hair short. I think maybe she had that in real life and she wore extensions. Oh, Possibly. okay. I'm, I'm sure in her book, Self Portrait Not Sponsored, it, it probably explains. <laughs> <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> it probably explains, but. Um, so why not bloody sponsoring it, it, that? Like, speaking of haircuts, we see um, me, Doc, our, our character at the beginning with a, his bowl cut. Which yeah. is, I just called him haircut. <laughs> Before I knew his name, I was just haircut. I was like, that's yeah. not a great haircut. Not oh, bless, no. Um, Considering that they have a spa on site. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's not been using it, obviously. Although that said, Polly's is terrible. Like, well, actually, when you see the animated, you're like, that is awful. But when you see the pictures, you're like, oh, it's, it's fine. It's quite nice. 
That animation does not look like Polly. No, it doesn't. It's not the best. No. It's not her face shape. No. It's not something with the it's, eyes. Yeah. It's, it's the not. eyes and the and the shape of the face with that hair. Because actually when you look at, you know, the pictures of her, it, she's quite nice. It, it looks it suits her. You know, because she has quite small features, uh, but quite big eyes. So it's sort of like very um Lulu. Do I mean mm. Lulu? Who do I mean who was the um Twiggy. Six, Twiggy. I yeah. mean very Twiggy. Twiggy Lulu, the same. <laughs> We're gonna go with Twiggy, because like Twiggy had big eyes like that. Uh, and then, but the animation, it just, so, I said to Mark, I was like, if we had any sound on, if we were watching this with subtitles, I would think that was a boy. I would honestly well, well, think that's why that, I was like, to tell you, because I was thinking, you might think, like, who's that in the TARDIS all of a sudden? <laughs> it's just so weird. So then we see the, the colony that we're in, and we see that, you call it a space disco with the majorettes, oh, yeah. and everyone's <laughs> there. It was really good. We saw it earlier, didn't we? Yeah, it we was did. great. <laughs> I enjoyed um, that. So that's a that's a strange. It's sort of like holiday camp. It's supposed to be this futuristic Earth thing, but it's so nineteen fifties. And even the way they're dressed, like the majorettes, it's like of the time. It's really odd, isn't it? Yeah, I found it. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was quite funny. But yes, it's the fact they're in a room. This is written by the same person that wrote the Savages, and it does remind me a little bit of the world of the futuristic savages in a way where there are all these people in this just slightly oh remind me which one of the savages those um nanina um stephen's last story oh yeah 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 <laughs> just shout words to you <laughs> i had nanina and i was still trying to place it i was like nanina nanina yeah so it's the same yeah. writer as as that and the war machines actually okay um the tardis lands out on sort of a desert thing jamie comes out with a stick just yes, in case there's a crab. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's all right. That, but then Ben immediately jumps on me, Doc. Slash bad haircut. Yeah, and starts fighting. Look out, Jamie! Hang on, mate, I'll get him! Come on, Ben! Jamie, help him! Oh, no, Ben, I'll Come on, Ben! Come on, Ben! He's very, at first, think second, isn't he, Ben? Yeah, which is sort of part of his character now yes he sort of uh, there is that anger there's a constant anger like nowadays we'd be like he needs anger management (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah well yes actually because then now you've got jamie to be like a karma jamie's still in that early oh what's gonna happen and you know he's got the he's got that stick to sort of emphasize that Mm. i think he's still jamie's still wary jamie's human Yes, like, Jamie's reacting properly. As a human would. And this is... Ben isn't. Polly is just a bit... Polly. It's just whatever, yeah. Polly's Polly. Let's just leave that one there. Although, because she has a bad haircut, I don't think like she annoyed me as much. Well, they go into the colony. Medoc gets captured by Olar, that guy, the sort of head guard guy, who I said, and I, I do stand by, he reminds me of of the Cyril actor a little bit he's I said that's this is our Cyril person <laughs> for this not, story because Cyril and I'm actor I'm not saying that just because they sort of look the same the way the voice and a, a no. little bit if Cyril if the Cyril actor was going to play guard leader okay would, it sorry would be if the Cyril actor was going to play straight actor I think for a start the Cyril actor's so camp yeah, but Ola, I don't know. Anyway, I didn't Ola find was a bit camp. Cyril. Okay, 50% Cyril. <laughs> <laughs> 5% Cyril. Okay. okay, a little bit Cyril. Five. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this whole story felt the whole time like I was missing something. And not in like a, I'm putting a puzzle together sort of way. I can't explain it. Which is... You know, really hard when you do a podcast about explaining things, not being able to explain. <laughs> but I was always one bit of information short of fully being able to understand what was going on. But I couldn't tell you what that information was. Well, the first episode is a bit strange because they, they must be there for quite a while because then they go into this spa refreshing department bit. Yeah. And they're all and there's a bit of comedy there, which so this was the bit that was edited out. Of the, the animation. animation, which yeah. caused, uh, obviously, all the fans... Everyone was up in arms, obviously. Cause, and it's a bit annoying that... Uh, there must be reasons, budgetary reasons, fine, if they cut stuff out. It's, um, we're lucky to have a whole animation. Yeah. Um, so I showed be you grateful. the telesnap version of that scene. And I think that adds quite a bit of humour, though, and them settling in and showing them... 
you know. Yeah, I'm, but having I mean, watched it, other than Polly's haircut change, it I don't think it added anything to the story. I don't feel in that missing. Although it didn't add to the story, but it added a bit of humour and a bit of their settle, them settling in. Whereas actually in the animation, they're there and then suddenly they're very comfortable. You know, you miss a little bit of passing of time, maybe. Mm, no, but I kind of feel like I accept that something has happened for them to have been there long enough without me needing to see it. Mm. So I get this is that you've watched the telesnaps before you've watched this, I'm guessing. So you've watched, or you know of all that. So to you, that explains that. Me watching this, I was like, they sort of make a joke of it. Like, oh, yeah, I'm up for that. Like when Ben's like, you know, we're going to go and pamper you and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I lost anything from that because I understood that, like, they were going off to do something and then obviously this is hours later that we next mm. see them. So I didn't feel like they've suddenly... It was five minutes. Okay. But I can't explain it. I wish I could put my finger on it. It's a normal thing if you arrive, you... Um, get to know a place, you get to know the characters there, all that. The first episode, to some extent, I can sort of accept not fully understanding a story yet because quite often they're still setting up the blocks, they're still like... But this one, when it did answer things, it didn't answer them. So I'm trying to give you an example. Um, when they were talking about working, what do you do? That sounds good in this first episode, doesn't it? Like, what? well, it's asked, it's not answered. <laughs> <laughs> right. it's not really answered they go what do you do um, we work up here well what do you do oh, we, and eventually they say we pump gas I think it was like three of times they asked and event, like, we, we get the gas okay but what do you do here we tap the computers like the, I don't know I just I, I find it really frustrating I was like well, why why do you do that and I don't need to know about the gas but all the others I feel like you usually get some explanation like, oh, we pump the gas because it um, goes into these tubes and, I don't know, warms our food. I don't know, whatever. I mean, we know that's not the case. But, like, they just do it. And and they, they're quite nice. So they're not. you're not convinced, like, these people are questioning it themselves. I don't know. I can't explain it. Well, the it. reason I mentioned the savages earlier, it reminded me of that because you. I think it's supposed to get across. You've got this nice base yeah. where they're dancing, they're socialising and they're working hard and everyone's happy. And then you have me docs like, no, there's something going on and they're treating him like a prisoner. Yeah, yeah. And he's the one, he stands out. Like, something wrong, like with the savages and the colony. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. But it's done in a slightly different it way. It is in a slightly different way. Even with the macro, it's not, like, really explained. It, like, well, no, they, because, they know the macro, because, but they because, don't accept the because macro. Because Medoc's like, uh, it's the macro, I've seen the macro. Yeah. And then the c- but commander... But they all know it, but they say they don't exist, but they also give them a name. Yeah, that's the thing. They're like, the macro do not exist. But it's done in such a way, it's not like... I can't explain it. it. The way that they act it out, I would expect more like, no, they do not exist. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Why give something a particular name? If the macro are controlling everybody, like this mind control, yeah. and if you go by that everybody is controlled, then maybe, oh, it's really... Because then it's not like, oh, they knew about it, then they got controlled and they forgot about it. It's it's come in, taken them over. yeah. And that's the macro saying that what you see isn't real. Forget it. And so... they're trying to like sort of erase their mind in that way. Yeah, um, maybe it doesn't feel... actually stand up to too much scrutiny. <laughs> yeah, I just I can't like that. I just can't like. And it doesn't. I'm, that's not me like overthinking. That's me watching it. Like it was. It's either they're acting so convincing that these people are happy and they do their jobs. Which I think that's what episode one is supposed to do. Yeah, but All this I almost place... want it more a little bit more yeah i almost want it more manic for me to believe that something is wrong or i'm like just wondering questions i'm like but but why and they don't even they don't even try and like move them off onto something else they just sort of like well because they let them just they welcome them in give them rooms 
wander around, do whatever you want. They wander around everywhere. Doct- so then we follow. The Doctor goes off on his own. You don't really see Ben, Polly and Jamie for the rest of the episode one. No. It's the Doctor following me, Doc, saying, OK, I believe you, what's going on? He's allowed to walk into the prison and let him out. Yeah. And wander and around the pilot's at night. like, oh yeah, I guess okay, that's fine. Yeah, like, and it's and but if they're being controlled by the macro, surely the macro would be a bit worried about that because they're the ones that are saying for Medoc to be locked up because he's seen them. I get that because they captured him early on. They're like, this is your thank you, but they literally he has like full freedom of anything and any time he's in a sticky situation, it's not even that he talks his way out of it. Because he no, doesn't. No, he's, they just let him. They just let him do it. Like he's like they're like you know you've destroyed these things. I know with this and holds up like a spanner, and they're like, well that's wrong. And he goes, I know. Like it's yeah, it's just so weird. But it's a four part story. It's not like a six part where you've got time to build it up. No, but but it's quite a basic story at the end of the day. Yeah, I honestly feel like because it's the end of the second where the old guy goes and we see the macra. <laughs> What's that? What's happening? Doctor, they're in the picture. They're in control. The end of the second. second. Yeah, because yeah. the third was Jamie. And they're like, oh, the macro's taken over. Yeah. So then we know this. By know the end of the second, we on. know that yeah. actually they are controlling the, the macro because you see them on the screen. Mm. Like, and even then, I can understand the other people, but I think it's. I think it is that. I think it's just how like you know, fine they are with these strangers just doing stuff. Yet this one guy, they are, like, proper hardcore on. But I think that he's just there to show that the audience there's something wrong going yeah. on. And you didn't have to do that. You could have done it a different way where they're all at the spa, they're all happy, and then you see this macro, or people are taken away one by one or something like that, and people go missing or... But, you know, yeah. it's not like That's it's not like me could have well. been like, oh, this happened before, and explains, like, I was working down there, I saw this thing, they took my friend or something. I couldn't work out whether, like, they did know about the macra and, like, so it's the one where they run outside, Ben and Polly. In episode two, yeah. Yeah, we'll come back to that in a bit more detail, but they run outside, that whole scene happens, Ben's obviously, you know, under the influence and stuff. They come back in and he asks him, going, and you let, you took her away, you didn't let them take her, and he goes, no. So he knows them, he knows surely that they exist because he's, he but says. I think that's sort of like a brainwashing thing where it's like if you see it, you don't you're controlled to not believe that there's macro. But then later on when he does see it He sees it and then he he Yeah, but as he, I think as he sees it more, that's when it starts to wear off. Because mm. you see it and believe it. Whereas maybe you see it a few times and you're and like Because he says it's oh, weird. I don't know. It's I'm getting like, really confused. It was horrible. A great insect, like like a crab, got hold of me. Ben got me free. Ben did? He was nearly killed himself. Silence. Did you protect the girl from such creatures? She ran away. I went after her. Did you protect her? And were there such creatures? So they both acknowledge that these things exist. Ben's... Now, Ben's, you know, normally in this, because he's, like, coming and going. Ben acknowledges, no, I didn't let them take her. And this pilot, who apparently is fully, like, believing that Macrodone exists, goes... Oh, and you let them, like... Yeah, it's that, not really... It doesn't, just doesn't the hold up. doesn't fold, fold through. Yeah, let's say that. Fold through. Yeah, okay, well, let's carry it. Let, so... Well, let's just go quickly to episode two, just because I touched on it there, and the Ben and Polly. So I said to you, and I didn't realise that it was also the War Machines that you wrote. Oh, okay. The first time they met, Polly was under the influence, and Ben was trying to save her, mm. and this time... Ben's under the influence, and Polly is trying to sort of, uh, sort of get Ben back. Yes, yeah. So it's yeah, I didn't swapped. realize that. Yeah, they yeah. swapped round. And yeah. it's interesting that he also wrote that episode. Mm. What are your thoughts on this? On the macro, obviously, the animation is a little bit different to the real life. Yeah, we macro, saw both. But, you know, they had the big prop. So the macro animation-wise, I actually found very scary. They were really good the way they've done it. Yeah. yeah. Like, when we saw that scene, the footage of it with Polly, I sort of had a giggle to myself. Cause yeah, didn't... they're not as... Um, they don't really move as much. I think no. people fell into them rather than they got chased. And obviously it yeah. doesn't pick her up in the, <laughs> the animation. They can go a bit more 
elaborate. Over, yeah, elaborate on it. Yeah. Um, they're funny, aren't they, the macro? Because they are giant crabs. Also, how is it that the ones outside don't talk? Well, none you know, of them the, talk. But one does because it communicates as the... Yeah, I think it's just pressing buttons, you know, like... Um, oh, is it? Yeah, it's not actually talking. But, it, but they're like, it's a crab using really a computer. Angry. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but it, it gets really yeah, loud it's the, it's and angry. So does he just type no, it's really? It's the voice of the commander. Yeah, I don't know how they can do it. They just. <laughs> That's a, here's another question. Like, are they a voice? The macro's not. That is not a voice coming from the macro. That is a computer voice that because the macro is controlling. When he gets really angry towards the end yeah, of the shouting, they all get angry, don't they? They like, get like, no such thing as macro. Yeah, yeah, and they're like, no, stop him, stop him. I mean, like, does he just like type really, really hard to make it louder? I think the macro is typing in capitals at that point. Shift. <laughs> what, what is capital shift? Control. Just no, caps shift. lock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like or, control shift. Or you capitals. can shift. Yeah. Hold the shift down and type. Yeah. But, That's yeah. what the macro's doing. He's typing in capitals. He's texting in capitals when that happens. He's not saying it. Because, like, yeah, that was another thing. I was like, it's so They're like, rubbing their, their little personal. computers, their crappy computers. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it's so personal as a voice. It's not like monotone. It's not like this is what I'm telling your commander is talking and telling you this. It's very like, the commander is talking and he is telling you this. It's very personal. Well, yeah, that's the sort of facade, isn't it? Yeah, but it, like, now you're saying they're just typing. Well, no, I meant, yeah. They're not talking. No, or it's maybe it's like um, mind control or something. Oh, maybe, maybe it's like Mm. telekinesis. Talking of crabs, though. (laughs) You did mention, you were like, luckily Dodo didn't land here and get crabs. I made a really bad joke, okay? <laughs> you were like, well, this is where she got her STD from. Well, she landed on this colony and had a night out with the majorettes. It's only because they talk about um, it being a disease, don't they? <laughs> yeah, at the it's, end. It's and not, that's when you looked at me and was like, com- Dodo. <laughs> it's not like... A being, it as such, is manifested from an infection and a disease or something. <laughs> the word infection and they are, equals dodo now. And they're crabs. So I just, I turned to you and made a really bad joke and went, my dodo got a crabs from them. <laughs> oh, well, poor dodo. Well, let's go on to then Ben. So he gets hypnotised. So they're all lying on their, on their bunks at night and they all get, oh, they all get, um, they all listen to that app, Headspace, is it? <laughs> you that? said Calm? Headspace. Is that one called Calm? This, so What's Calm's that thing you listen one, to at night? So I listen to Headspace, but Calm is the one that Harry Styles talks on. Right, okay. So, so, so they all, Not just Harry Styles, yeah. but yeah. So, so they've got that. Like, they've got the Headspace so on. Polly, Ben and Jamie are sleeping. They listen to Harry Styles <laughs> telling them to take over on this Calm app thing. Yeah. They listen to the voices. Jamie, Jamie doesn't have any of it. Um, and, Jamie and wakes up. And I think that's because... What I was going to say is because he's a bit more primitive and it doesn't work on him. So I don't here's, know why I here's that. my thinking. At this point, they still didn't account for Jamie in the writing. I reckon they were Polly's lines. I don't know. I think they know Jamie's there by now. I don't know. So it's weird well, actually, that, also, that okay. I woke up to expect... So I I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I was awake. <laughs> I did wake I was awake this whole episode, I promise. I expected that there would be... Jamie sort of half conscious and aware of it him trying to explain it to Ben and Ben as we had like sort of oh, mate get some sleep we've got a hard day's work ahead of us tomorrow why do you see that well we've got to do something to help in the colony we can't just eat their nosh without helping out you sound just like that voice Ben and I expected Polly because they've had no interaction with her to be fully in it Okay, so there is an explanation for that, which I haven't told you. Okay. Just on the, um, it is another animation difference. Oh, okay. So in the actual thing, Polly is in a different room. It's right. Ben and Jamie are sharing a room. And I Polly was going to ask that, you this. So they get around that. That's why she's there in the animation, not doing anything. Because you have the, the doctor goes in to see Polly, talks to Polly, and then suddenly he's talking to Ben and Jamie. Yeah. They're in different rooms in the actual real one. So, I was going to ask you this, because he says, the guy, he's like, oh, they're in their rooms. Yeah. And I yeah. was like, how weird to put three of them in one room, and then just the doctor. Yeah, like... so Polly had her own room in the thing, that's why. But even then, I would have expected... Yeah, Polly be... didn't do anything, did she? she Nothing, was she not was part absolutely of that. fine. But then I suppose they've chosen Ben to be the one that takes over. Yes. Jamie... It's a good sort of relationship with Jamie and Ben in this, because so far... 
Ben has sort of helped out Jamie and been his friend and they've got on and sort of shown off to him, but also, you know, helped him out. And in this, there's the conflict actually between them. Yeah, yeah. And there's Jamie being like, wake up. And he's the one that notices that Ben's... I, I quite like that. Yeah. No, it works really well. It's just, I found it odd that the three of them all have the exact same treatment. And they'd be the same in different room. She's not exactly like awake herself... Yeah, Polly is, yeah, it's strange that Polly doesn't get Anything. under the influence because, you know, or, she's got history of that. Yeah, and, like, Jamie woke up in the middle of it. Jamie was sort of, like, half aware. So I reckon, okay, so Ben hasn't had this happen to him before, so he's most susceptible and it happens to him. Jamie's, as I say, a more primitive mind and is not susceptible to it. <laughs> Polly's already been done by Wotan, and so whatever Wotan did to her has made her... <laughs> yeah, maybe immune. Yeah, maybe... Because yeah. he sort of comes in and... Maybe she thought it a little, but then she dismisses it very quickly if she did. But I maybe because Ben was asleep first as well, and he's got it all. Jamie wasn't but asleep. But he wasn't. Jamie Polly woke didn't. him up. Mm. Polly was awake that whole time. Jamie. <laughs> She's just like, okay, guys, get on with it. Yeah, well, sorry, <laughs> Polly was asleep, not awake, sorry. But Jamie wakes up and tries to wake Ben up and have, has a conversation with him in the middle of it. Well, anyway, Ben is the one that gets done. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Ben goes bad. Yeah. You're bad Ben. Bad Ben. Which I quite like. Well, he didn't, have a, he didn't he, have a London accent. Do you know what? Yeah, so <laughs> that's how we know that he's been under the influence. He's, his cockiness goes. Yeah. Ever so slightly. Yeah. He loses, it, he loses that. I thought when Polly runs away from him and Ben goes after her, I mean, I know it's the animation, but I thought that was quite a... Because you've seen them together. Yeah. And they're always looking out. And Ben is always looking out for Polly. Yeah, yeah. And being so caring for her. And then to actually turn, I I really like that. And it was a bit of a moment. You're like, what's he going to do to her? You know, is he going to... You can't have companions attacking each other. <laughs> no. Um, no, I, 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 re- yeah. I really liked it. I found that whole scene very suspenseful. Yes. And we saw the sensor clips as a very tiny clip. Yeah. And that always sticks out. Whenever I think Macra Terra, I always think of, because I've seen that clip so many times, of Polly going, there's another one! <laughs> no, I can't. That was, that was really bad. <laughs> and that again. is staying in. <laughs> no. If that I listen to well. this back and don't again. have that in. Let me try that again. Well, I don't care. That first one's still in. They're behind you! There's another one! Yeah. Like that. <laughs> so if that's all. That just that clip was just of that. with her short hair. With her short hair, yeah. And she sort of the way it's like it's like the scream, up, isn't the it? Scream, you know, yeah, with her the hands painting. up. Like, oh, that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really like that bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There's a ringtone. If anyone also... wants a ringtone, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You might want it as a message. You screaming that, like in touch with Mark. One. He'll send you a little audio <laughs> clip of it. There's another one. <laughs> There's another one. <laughs> Every time you get a text. There's yeah. another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And then after that point, episode three went a bit downhill for me because then that's the mining bit. So Jamie, his second mining job after yeah. the underwater menace, he knows what a mine is now, <laughs> if he didn't before. <laughs> Polly sent off to work for once. Yeah, good. <laughs> um, okay, could we actually let's just talk about Polly. Let's just go into Polly <laughs> while we're there. Please tell me that Polly is less offensive to you in this story. Yes, she is. She's It's calmed down now Apart from the last from... two episodes of some... what there, She didn't have any diva moments this Only time, Only in um, the spa. What did she say in that? I can't remember. I said something to you. Oh, she was very patronising to Jamie. Yes, she was. She was really patronising and really like, oh, <laughs> you know, I just can't deal with it. But that wasn't in the whole episode. That wasn't in what we that watched. That wasn't in the thing, no. So Polly does take a bit of a back seat in this because it's more Ben does a bit more. And she's she's with the doctor a lot saying, what's this? What are you doing? But she doesn't really have any more to it than that in the story, really, does she? No, and she's scared and all and, that, and you so know. because of that, Polly slash Annika is, has faded down a little bit for yeah. you. Yeah, it's not her story, this one. No. I bet she didn't like that. I'm not sure, actually. I think she probably liked the, the macro bit. 
Yes, and she's she's great at that. Yes, I mean, she conveys the, the terror from a big plastic crab, you know. It's interesting, since she's been on, any sort of scenes like this are very terrifying. I don't, like, I could be wrong, but we've not had any edited out scenes in Doctor Who before this point, really, have we? Well, no, actually, it's it's funny, those sensor clips, because it's... Yeah. From the smug, and I just know because the smugglers for me, just like this, all the smugglers to me is because I've watched that bit of that, ah! <laughs> <laughs> all the stabbing and the shoot and Polly yeah. screaming. That's all, when it's just so funny because I've seen it so many times, just like the macro <laughs> bit. It's the smugglers, macro terror. Um, There's another one, underwater menace. With yeah, the, yeah, all of that bit. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Yeah, I've never noticed that before. It's because not from any so, other. Like, it's so like dramatic. From around that time. Yeah, it's from. She's the... so dramatic. Yeah. Or well, they just edited out <laughs> Polly moments. Well, we don't want um, any more screaming girls in these yeah. series. Well, okay, well let's let's talk about Jamie then, because then this is where it the story lost it a bit for me because Jamie, they go down to the mines. Jamie goes through this door for whatever reason, on his own. So he does and, invite Polly, and Polly gets called back to help with the gas. Right, okay, I'm, I might have and he goes missed through. that bit. I think I was looking out the window waiting for our food. food. <laughs> <laughs> Waving at the Uber yeah, driver, yeah. being like, this house over here. <laughs> it's going to the wrong house. Kind of um, but then it seemed like there was a whole episode of just Jamie on his own, walking through, being followed by a crab, and gas. And gas. And luckily it's animated, because if it was telesnaps, there'd be silence and just that music. Yeah, and you hated the music. I, it's a bit like the Underwater Men is Fish music, actually. It is, you're right. Maybe they did it in the same time. Do you know what it reminds me of? <laughs> Go on. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you put a cat on a keyboard and it just walks across. <laughs> 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 like, that's what they've done. They Maybe put, that's what it was. They put a crab on a keyboard and just made it walk up and down. Maybe. That's it. They were like, <laughs> real. <Yeah. laughs> so when they're in that, um, before, oh, where are they? They're like underground. We're supposed to be digging for gas, and the doctor's in that room, isn't he? Like the control room. Yeah. Yeah. So it looked to me like there was always gas in that room. Well, yeah, it's sort of in the background. Yeah, they're, yeah. But because they have this... their masks. Because remember... downstairs, downstairs, <laughs> outside. Yeah, I get that. But in in that control room, it looked like there was gas. Yeah, I think there was. But the. It's surely toxic. Because they said about... That's why they send me Doc down, because he's like, well, you don't live long when you get sent down here anyway, because there's always gas. Hmm. And I they, see. And they've got goggles and these masks that they don't seem to wear. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I didn't really get that. Um, the best Jamie moment, obviously, is the dancing bit. Yes. Do you know what? I thought Jamie was great in this. Has How is can Jamie I, for you at the moment? Then? Can I ask you first? Okay. Where does Jamie rate for you? Um, Normally you're quite like I like this person. I do, you, and I Jamie, don't know, he sort of came on, and then I've never really got your thoughts on it. I don't know. I because I know how long Jamie's in it for, and later stories and stuff. And I've said before, I like uh, this earlier Jamie better than later Jamie. I'm not sure why. He's okay. He's not like my favourite. Th- this Jamie at the moment, I will let you know when he starts to not be great for me okay. there's at some point and I cannot explain it I don't know he sort of gets maybe he's still quite innocent and learn and I kind of like that aspect of him I think. yeah yeah but later on maybe once he gets used to things it, I don't maybe I don't like him as much I don't know why it's just how I don't know I can't really explain it Jamie is a funny one for me I yeah. can't say either way he's on the fence for you yeah but I like him in these ones so far. Up to this point, I do like him. I think compared to Ben and Polly, he is what I want in a companion. Okay, so he if you were going to rate Polly, Ben and Jamie, yeah. what are you going to say? Jamie would be number one. And then Ben two and Polly three. Or maybe not, actually. no. Polly 2 and Ben 3. Wow, okay. The Why? thing is, Polly 
really annoys me. Like, I do not like Polly. But actually, I like that she is, I guess, like, responsive. And some of her, like, quite often, what she's acting, I can, like, have... Like, this is a prime example. This whole episode, I think all of her reactions are what my reactions would be, for example. You know? I think I'd like to think at this point with Polly... She knows enough that she's still brave to be out in that world, but she's still human enough to be, like, scared of things or worried about things or, you know, still trying to work things out, still trying to, like... I mean, she's the one that suggests go and get the pile and stuff. They are all completely normal reactions. Ben, I really like Ben, but he's just a one-trick pony. No, but he's not, though, because we've got bad Ben in this. Like I said, this one, it, it, this is why he, I sort of laughed, struggled. He made a joke and we laughed at something but as well. he's just really, he's, he's I, cockney fighter. What I don't, yeah, it's the going straight into the fighting is a bit of an issue. It's always, and but it's almost like they've gone, this guy was supposed to be in the army, this is what he does, and he's a cockney. If, when I look at that Ben from the War Machines, yeah, that's that like, Ben was like, you know, really passionate, like, about... What is happening? Really wanting to know and understand and, you know, um, help. And he does that, but quite often he just comes in with a really aggressive front and attitude to him. He almost shouts into a situation every time. Like I said earlier, he speaks before he thinks. He acts first and then is like, oh. mm." He sort of gets disgruntled if people don't, like... And I just think, oh, it's, that's not what he was like in that first episode. No, he's changed, yeah. But I prefer Ben to Polly. And Ben, that is his character, so I think I can accept that more. His character's always been cocky. I mean, that's the whole point. He was always like, oh, come on. What's he called? A, what's he called? A, not princess. He gives her a nickname. Duchess. Duchess, yeah. He's like, oh, come on, Duchess. That's been his character. So I sort of accept the cockiness a little bit more from him. I just get really annoyed that all of his actions are just... Ah! And then sort of, sort of put out. He's always put out. Mm, I see what you mean, actually. Do you know what? This is a sad day. I think I might say Jamie, Ben and Polly. Really? Yeah. Wow. I don't know. I don't know. I can see what you mean. It's the aggressiveness that's suddenly come through. Well, not yeah. suddenly come through. It's just got more and more prominent. It's always been there. There's a difference between action and aggression, I think. So... Stephen. Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen was action, not aggression. Yeah, Stephen would be sort of angry and passionate about yeah, something. That's it. But, but he didn't but, like. But, if, but yes. if someone challenged him on it, he also had the reason to. Be. There's been so many occasions with Ben where they've. I'm trying to think of one where I don't know. He's like gone full for something, and people have gone no, don't or whatever. And he's like, why not? Blah, 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 and he gets really angry about it. Like he's the gun re- in the Highlanders. Yeah. And, like, he's just... It, it's aggressive. It's not like... There's not a passion to it. It's like mm. a, why isn't it this way? This is and the actually, way. actually, that would have been all right because Bad Ben, if Bad Ben was suddenly like that... Yeah. Because he is a bit... Well, even with the Doctor, he has a bit of a fight and he has a bit of a scuffle with Jamie. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the moment where I was like, hmm, maybe I'm Team Jamie now. Yeah. No, Whereas- I'm not, I'm no, I'm not, actually, no. Whereas Jamie, I I feel like... Yeah, I like Ben. I just think it's a shame that for his character, all they ever get him is that. Yeah. Because actually, actually, he's so much potential. Bad Ben aggression is actually just the same as normal Ben aggression in a way. Yeah. It's just for a different reason. Yeah. Yeah. There's not not enough difference there. And when I think of the War Machines and that Ben... (laughs) (laughs) Jamie, though, I think like... He's got enough. He's got a really nice go about him. Like he's he wants to. I mean, he doesn't know anything, but he doesn't come across like all the time. I don't know anything. He's got those moments, like where he's like with Polly. Oh, I was going to do a Scottish accent. Like, <laughs> you were just going. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure about these people. No, that was just completely. <laughs> I can't. Do, we've been here before. We're not going to go back into the Scottishness. No. Apart from my, even with my heritage. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, where he's like, oh, I'm not sure about these people. Well, let's just keep an eye out. Or And Polly's like, no, it's okay. And 
he needs a little bit of looking after every now and then. I but don't he feel he also, does. I, he's a bit like, oh, I'm not sure about this. He's still a bit... But I prefer that. Mm, you know, yeah, so, I, so do because I. Because that's human. So do I. But then he'll go off down the mine and stuff because on his own. Because the person and I don't want to be like that is the doctor. The doctor is the person who... Yeah, okay, like there are points where he's like, hang on, let's just think a sec. But the doctor is the one that goes out there. It's funny and is, because the doctor's quite independent. Yeah, yeah. That whole episode, episode one, he's off. He's going... He's not like, where's... Like, Ben, Polly and Jamie just seem to be going off doing their own thing. He's not like, where we've got to stick together, everyone, or where are you going? Yeah. or, And he's not that, he's not like trying to help Ben immediately, being like, he's, no, like, he just oh, leaves him to he's it. like, oh, Ben, you've gone bad now. Okay, well, like, and then leaves him to it to go off and... And every time, when he sees and, him and again, like, oh, he hi, makes a thing of it. Like, it make, but, are you make, good yet? No, all right. Like, yeah, isn't that strange? Yeah. Yeah, he just sort of leaves him to it. Like I don't, but, I don't want to start comparing again. But if that was like a first Doctor and Barbara or something in Keys, in Keys and Marinus or something, he'd be like, "Snap out of it!" Rah, 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 yeah, yeah. Come, you've got to see, or or Ian would be like, "You've got to see what's going on." And but in this, it's just like, "Yeah, let's go." Even Polly and that are just like, it's not like she's even. No, Ben, what's happened to you? Where are you? You know what's going on? She's off going down the mine. See you later, Ben. Yeah, they literally just abandoned him. Because then Polly and Jamie are together quite a lot more, which is yeah. interesting. That's my Again. theory. That's my theory. Oh, that theory's building <laughs> crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we don't want, we don't want any crabs. No crabs, no crabs. <laughs> They're not coming on board. And it's a shame because I really like Ben and I really was looking forward. I was so excited. Oh, and that moment where Jamie gets captured and it's like, your friend, and then you see Ben at the back of the crowd. Is like he's the one that yeah. like, betrayed you. I was like, that was a bit of a tough moment for me. I was like, Ben, yeah, what are you doing? I'll be honest. Even Ben going uh, on the TARDIS, I'm still not 100 percent sure he's over it. <laughs> what at the end? Yeah. <laughs> like no, he, no, I wish is. it had been a more dramatic. He's like, him... over it because he's back in his normal clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but I wish. Okay, not the very end, but like. I wish that there'd been more of a moment of him being like, what have I, I been doing? I, I, When we were watching this, I imagined that he apologised. I don't know why. I thought it was going to be like, oh, I'm really sorry how I behaved or something. I thought that There's scene nothing. existed, but there isn't anything. And even, like, the doctor's on the other side telling him what to do. Even then, I was like, is he just going to, like, yeah, not do, do it? Yeah, do something, yeah. I literally, there's no point where again? I was like, you I, needed something. You need something. that apology. I've just imagined that apology. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh love um, no you needed a real true him snapping out of it moment yeah. I never truly was sure that he had snapped out of it mm. oh, even right the way through right the way up until that when they're you know all dancing at the end and he's getting them out but there's not really a oh even in you can snap out of something in that moment of panic mm. well just before sorry just before we get to the end we've got Jamie in the mine he finds a lift, because yeah. he knows about lifts from yeah. the underwater menace. <laughs> he can get in a lift and press the button. Yeah. And it is a very, it's wrapped up very, quite quickly, I Yeah, think. yeah. I understood why the getting the gas was so important, because it was nothing to do with the people. It was all to do with the macro. I just, mm. I don't know, part of me's just like, why didn't you just ask, like, so where does this gas go? Or why do we need it? How are these people well, living? They controlled. Yeah, but how are they living? Like, what are they eating? Um, Crab. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever eaten lobster? Have I eaten lobster? No, and I really want to, but I want to do it properly. Mm, I tried. I got an Asda lobster. Oh yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do it properly. And you boil it for a long time, and then you, there's not much meat. Once no, you get there's out. not. And in mine, there was like in like the claw, you open up the meat and stuff. There was all these like eggs in it or something. I don't know. Ooh. There was all these like orange eggs. And so like, you're supposed to eat them or not? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Mark is uh, and then I hit one and turned into a macro. Yeah. <laughs> <I don't> <laughs> so no, I had an ex boyfriend who um for his birthday we were in London and his parents took him somewhere. It was me, him and his parents, and we went to a place where once a week they do a specialty crab night. Uh, lobster night. <laughs> <laughs> lobster night Sorry. and I don't know why I didn't have the lobster they had scallops to begin with 
Oh, no, we had oysters to begin with. Oh, I've never had oysters. No, I haven't had oysters. And I don't know why I didn't. Because they came in this massive tray on ice and stuff. And you, and then, so I ordered something else, I think. And then it turned out that this place's specialty was lobster. Mm. And it was like once a night, once a week, they do like a big lobster and oyster night. And oh. that just so happened to be this night. And I was like, if I'd have known, I probably would have ordered it because this is like their thing. Mm. But I didn't. So It's like when Burger and Lobster was in town here. Yeah, I never went. Never went. I was like, oh, I've got to do it. And then it shut down. Yeah. No, yeah. I was the same. Because if I'm going to do it, I, I want to do it properly. I always want to burger and lobster. I don't want to like... Is that a chain? I wonder if there's still burgers and lobster. So actually... I don't know how many there are, but the one I... in Cardiff, everyone didn't last long. No, it didn't. <laughs> well, nobody went. Um, Miller and Carter do oh, lobster. Oh, do they? And, yeah, it's but, but uh, they were in court recently in Swansea because the lobster wasn't lobster. It's like fish pieces. Oh, okay, because I... When I order lobster, I'm having the full orange yeah, lobster yeah. on my plate. So I'm not it's accepting like in, anything less. I have to find it for you. Like, but it, the article, but it's it was served in the shell and everything. Oh, they put it in. Oh, that's sneaky. And, and it's only because this guy was like at Miller and Carter and Swanson. He was like, mm, "This doesn't seem right." And he worked for like the health uh, food thing. Ooh. So he went in, and they were all like, "Yeah, this is what we get given." And they got closed down for like a week and they've had to pay like a huge fine in Swansea. And it looks like even when they went back, it's not so much that it has lobster in the pieces, but as other fish. And it's the fact that the menu just says it's lobster. lobster yeah. So actually, it's, yeah, it's, it's not, not correct. Yeah. The really nice fish restaurant in Cardiff is Le Monde. Yes. Oh, it's so nice. Is it? I've never been. I know it's that it's so like... so nice. I know it's the place for it's fish, like but... It's like very like art deco in there and there's a fish tank. Because the other on. place was... I think it was called Fish at like 85 or something. Fish 85 is just around the corner here. Yeah, well, I've it's... never been there. It's closed down now. Yeah, it's closed down now. We've got off topic. Well. <laughs> oh, sorry, everybody. <laughs> Oh my god! But I really wanted to go to Fish at eighty-five. I really wanted to go to Fish at eighty-five. I'm like ninety percent sure it's closed. I think it is because I I lived that. That's where I lived. If anyone's doing a macro terror themed party, you can serve lobster claws. What else would you serve at a macro terror party? Oh, do you know what I'd do? I'd make um, lobster like dessert. Not the so it'd look like lobster, and I'd have the eyes on like licorice. (laughs) <laughs> and a then macro icing. cake, a licorice yeah. macro. And then a little uh, icing on top to make the Because yeah. the ice just look like. I haven't seen what else they eat there. You're right. You yeah. don't. It'd have to be Majorette dress, fancy dress. Ah. <laughs> 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 I love those you have to bits. Do the Highland Fleet. You either, you either go Scottish or Majorette. <laughs> that would be the party with the lobster. Yeah, so you'd find, you, you arrive. That is the costumes you can yeah. choose. Majorette. And there's a little corner. There's like a little photo booth where you can... Cut your hair. <laughs> and there's a hairdresser on site, yeah. <laughs> hairdresser on site. Yeah. Oh, and you'd have to have um, dry ice for the gas. Yeah, constantly. Some, like, so everyone's yeah, coughing yeah. all the time. Everyone's coughing. So it's going to be like three years when people like are over video COVID. DJ, which the face comes up on the screen. That's a command. <laughs> Use your face. <laughs> My face. <laughs> This is a cool party. If anyone, there you go. If anyone wants a party. In like three party. years so that people can get over coughing yeah. in public. Yeah. Slash be in public right. together. 2024, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it's the macro party time. Wow, we have like <laughs> gone <laughs> off. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rate this episode out of interest? Oh. As I say, at the same time, we never, we used to do so scale one to ten and we're going to say it at the same time. We've never done that. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, six. six. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing nothing amazing. And a lot of that is for Bad Ben. Poor Bad Ben. Bad Ben's my highlight. For me, I really enjoyed it. I just really struggled. I had so many questions the whole time. And yeah, but I, I did enjoy it. I just think it could have been better. Mm. Be better. Well, there we go. We've there. We're, that's the macro terror for you. Yeah, <laughs> like very. Do you know what I feel? <laughs> us recording this has been as odd as what that yeah, episode was. I feel was. like it's been a weird one today. I don't know. There's a weird. There's something weird, isn't there? Yeah. About this one. Yeah. About. I don't. I, don't, know. I did not We're like just it. A bit weird. Yeah, I did not like it. Just. Nah. Well, shall I tell you the title of the next story? Yeah. 
it's a six episode story. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which we're not have for a while, actually. No, we're not. We're going to have to do two sittings for that one, probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's called The Faceless Ones. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, we've got some interesting titles, actually. That sounds interesting. I'm intrigued by that. Mm. Yeah, yep. Okay. Cool. Um, well, uh, what do I usually say? I usually say, um, in the meantime, you can find us on Twitter and Instagram at 2 Who. That's T-W-O. <laughs> no, only because that person got in touch and was like, I can't find you. And I was oh. like, oh, I it's see. TWO. Well, I think it's time now for the Major X competition. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we better go. I, I've been doing, I've been practicing the fling. What have you been doing? You've been playing the trumpet or something. The trumpet? Where's the trumpet <laughs> come from? The, the do, 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 do. do you know what I said to you right at the end when they're doing their little party or whatever? Yeah. And I said to you, I was like, do you know what's really sad? They're missing a member of that choir now. <laughs> He was there with them. Well, yeah, well, we've got to we've got to take his place in the in the competition. So yeah. we better go. We're going to stay on this earth colony for a little bit, and then we'll uh... not bring crabs back. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're going to try and not contract contract crabs <laughs> yeah. while we're on this colony. Yeah. Um, and I think you need to go get your hair cut. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Thanks for that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see, well we'll see you next week then. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. To watch who.